For the last five days, Tiffany Pomatep has been holding on to hope. Maybe they're out there, landed somewhere, and they just can't get help. That's something I like to hold on to. Today, rescue teams found the first items that belonged to her husband and two sons after their fishing boat capsized on Saturday. That's just the item that they found. That's my husband's lunch cooler, that's his shoes. On the boat, six people, her husband Johnny, her 14-year-old son Jake, 17-year-old Johnny Jr., and three others, including their cousin, an 11-year-old boy who survived and said water got into the boat's electrical system four miles from shore. He said that they were together at one point, and everyone put him on top of the cooler because he was the youngest. And then at one another, you know, at a certain time, everybody just separated. And him and his dad were on, his dad was holding onto the cooler while he was on top of the cooler. They were drifting and he said after about a couple hours, his dad let go or disappeared. The 11 year old made it to shore and the next morning walked to a nearby highway in Bodega Bay where he was rescued. Hours later, 17 year old Johnny Jr.'s body was found. I can't stop thinking about what their last moment was like. Oh you know, what their thoughts were and how scared they were and, you know, what pain they've been through. Today, Tiffany's having flashbacks of everything her sons have endured. I'm thinking about how much they've been through because um, in November 2017, we were in a mass shooting and him and Jake, they both got shot. I got shot, we survived that. And just for them to come here and die this way, it hurts me. Tiffany's praying for strength as her three other kids at home are wondering yeah. where is their dad, an Air Force veteran, skilled fisherman, and brothers will come home. It just feels like a dream, a really bad dream. Sonoma County Sheriff's rescue team confirmed they will continue their search throughout this region to bring closure to these families. In Bodega Bay, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.